What's going on, everybody? Yeah, yeah. On a rainy, rainy day. I feel like I should open the windows and let y'all hear it. Nasty, rainy day. You know what we're doing today, though? Instead of bricks, uh oh, doing some browns, some timbers, painting some happy timbers, some logs, a little wood. That's what we're doing today on the late night. It's nice and quiet, a little rainy. I'm using this old, old ass paint. Man, I gotta get some more browns. You know who you be. I'm gonna be hitting you up. Need some browns. I did buy a few browns the other day, but they were uh, Vallejo browns. They were desert browns. They were almost a yellow, but you know. So how's everybody doing today? Hope everyone is well and uh, doing it. I just jumped on for a little bit. I had a rough day. And I figure a little paint, a little brick, a little tiny house therapy. You know what I'm saying? It's good for you. I hear my dishwasher going off in the background. Clearly, I was ill prepared to start this recording. But you know what? I was just jazzed to throw a little paint on something. Because I find it very important to go to bed in a decent mood. Because if you don't, you wake up kind of shitty. And uh, that's something somebody told me a long, long time ago. And uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't believe her when she told me at first. But then took it to heart and I think it's very true that it's best to like not go to bed angry because you're gonna wake up salty and uh, that's often the case for me so a little, a little paintbrush therapy right it's good for you I figure give me a little 15 minutes you know find that that's also good for the hobby, right? You don't want to burn yourself out. But a quick 15 minutes every night, 20 minutes, you know. And if you're feeling it after the 15 or 20 minutes, go at it. Go at it, player. Do your thing. That's my phone going off. Everything's hopping off. Um, You know. But you think about it, right? Like... 15 minutes every, even if you do it, say, like, I don't know, four nights a week, right? That's an hour. And then 52 weeks of the year, right? Boom. 52 hours. Homes, that's like two days of solid pain. If you can't get some models done in that time, in two days of paint work, you sorry. You sorry. You know? But I wonder, can y'all hear that? That's Boss Man walking upstairs. Big Boss Man. Hopefully he don't fall down the stairs. He done that before. Y'all know that. So, yeah. I hear a thundering crash. It's my dog. Uh, but yeah, I feel like even that small amount of time, man, over the Rona, well, the main Rona, because I guess the Rona is still here, you know, but during the Rona, when we were stuck in, at like the first couple months, I burned through the models, painted a bunch, got some shit done. Bunch of Titans, all kinds of stuff. Adeptus. Um, 
but I also have the aha the ADD, you know. You know how that is. But uh, yeah, I got a ton of models done, man. And then I just kind of burnt myself out a little bit. So, um, but I still plug at it, and now I realize that like plugging at it is the way to do. Small little stretches. Although some nights I go for an hour or two, but you know, it's good for an hour. And gives you that sense of accomplishment, makes you feel good, and uh, helps you go to bed happy, right? After an otherwise crumptastic day. I guess I shouldn't complain. My day wasn't that bad, but it's kind of shitty. Kids be acting up. Work was a little slow. Work started off bad. I had like fucking a couple, couple people that were pain in the ass right at the beginning. I'm like, normally that don't bother me, but today, because I was in somewhat of a salty, tired mood to begin with, because I didn't go to bed. Happy last night. I was a little flustered. So that set me off, I think. You know. That ain't nothing a little timbers. A little timber work. A little logs. Look at them. Look at them. You like that? Happy little logs. They, uh, nothing that can't help. You know? I am gonna, don't be mad, but I am gonna switch it up on y'all. I got some Battletech mix that I gotta paint right here in front of me that I'm looking at. And, uh, I also got some magic card stuff that I gotta do. Oh no! He's talking magic again! Run! Hide! Yeah. Get, uh, get my pre-orders in for Heresy. For those who care. Hit my man up. main box and both of the both of the army books and I feel like that will give me enough to play till um, I mean I have enough to play but that will give me all the rules and shit and more models till the ad max shit comes out I guess I'll need that book too right yeah I think so yeah so we'll see oh I got a good one when I, uh, this is random, dude. This is, this is wild right here. Um, so, like, there's a lot of construction in the neighborhood. And, uh, I do a lot of walking. And one thing I've noticed is that where they, like, put up, I don't know what you call them, jersey barriers or whatever. And then it's, like, so they kind of make, like, a walkway for you to, uh, you know, a walkway on, like, the sidewalk or the street when they're, like, doing construction and shit. They, um, they put up these things, and it gives you a little bit of privacy or whatnot. And I don't know if it's what it is, but there's always fucking piles of shit there. And sometimes I like to play the game, is that dog or human feces? Because, like, I'm going to tell you straight up, I've seen both, and it's wild. And it's, like, almost, because I walk so much, it's, like, almost like a daily thing. And I don't know if it has to do with the homeless people, that there are definitely way more homeless people now, or, like, what, or if it's just, the, like, it's the same random people doing it. I don't know. I don't even know if they're homeless. Who the fuck knows? Because you always see that shit on the news where it's, like, some guy's, like, Somebody's been shitting in my driveway every morning. And then, like, he'll put cameras out there and shit. And it'll end up being, like, a fucking 53-year-old lady that, like, works at the school cafeteria or some shit. And every morning when she jogs, she just fucking takes a squirt in my man's lawn or something. So, like, yeah, you never fucking know. But, I mean, that's kind of... That's that's what I was thinking about today when I was walking around, you know, because it's like, 
I don't know. I guess the reason I'm doing this is so I could just share the weird shit I think of that comes out because I feel like somebody needs to hear it. And uh, I can't really ask my kids that question. You know? So, but yeah, it's wild, right? Fucking think about that. I don't know. I don't know. Is it like that other places when there's construction and like things? It's not like just like on the street. You know what I mean? Like it's like, I don't know. It's strange. But yeah, that, that was the wild one today. That's funny though. What else? Well, I realized I don't like the the bar is, it bums me out when there's no internet at the bar because the radio in the bar is internet radio. And when it's quiet and I can just hear all the people talking. And then I also, I I, don't, I get up in their conversations then because I like hear them and I can't help it. Which is weird that I do that because normally I feel like I can't hear too good. But I do that and uh, it's kind of annoying to me. And I don't know, I just don't like it. And then also there's people that you see like, it'll be like, two people coming in, they'll be like middle-aged, like there were two people from Utah today, and uh, a couple, and they just sat there, and they didn't say anything to each other, dude, because they were like, there were very few tables in there at that point, and it was just like, I was just like, oh, and I felt bad for those people, because I've been that guy before, but then sometimes I'm just like, you know what? Those people are probably, they could, that could mean they're like fucking so in sync, they don't even fucking have to talk to each other. They just know what each other's thinking, right? Which could be a beautiful thing. Or maybe they ain't got shit to say and they're boring. You know? Although I usually have a lot to say that ain't really important. So I could see where people would think that that's boring. They could just be like, this motherfucker needs to shut up. And I'd be okay with that. That's cool. That's cool. You know? But I realize I'm a little bit far away. I can't, can't quite see my beautiful, lovely house. Lovely house. A very, very, very fine house. You know? So. But yeah, so I prefer it when the, when fucking Comcast fucking doesn't fucking black out. Which is wild, because they blacked out here at the house for a while the other day. It was like 12 hours. It was enough to be, like, annoying. Because the kids wanted to watch fucking Paw Patrol and shit. Of course, at that very moment. And also, I have internet radio at the house. Which is the one thing about doing these that fucking kills me. You know? Because normally I'd have some tunes on in the background. But, like, if I do that shit, and then I put it up on YouTube... It fucking, I realized it like won't let me do it. it. Fucking hits me for the copyright issues, you know? Cause all fucking twelve of you people watching this, and shout out to future Bangladeshian fucking viewers of Dungeon Brush Battles. Um, you know, all twelve of you fucking are gonna turn me in for the copyright. So, you know, wow. Wow. Crazy. The real question now is do I like paint? There's like more wood up in this part here. Do I paint it the same color and then just wash it? get it over with or what I wonder I'm trying to think I don't remember what I did I've painted two of these same house already and I guess I don't have to make them all uniform right but speaking of which that reminds me I gotta I'm gonna tell you a new thing I'm gonna try but uh, I don't have to make them all uniform the weirdness is, like, part of me kind of wants to. 
Pardon me, kind of doesn't. Wants a little variety. Yet uniformity. What a conundrum. Um, but yeah, actually, I uh, cleaned up some mold lines and washed um, another one of these houses. This, like, more, I don't know. This one has a bit of a more rural vibe. The one with the woodshed on the side here. Um, I cleaned and washed another one of these and a ruined building. Um, and it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. So I was thinking either tomorrow or Saturday I'm going to prime them. But I am going to prime uh, that ruralish woodshedy building, the other one I have. I'm going to prime it with that, uh, like my favorite primer ever, that Wraithbone. GW Wraithbone stuff. I love that. Um, and I'm going to try some contrast paints on it, you know, and just see. Because these other buildings, I haven't been painting with contrast. I've been using either old GW paints or Vallejo Jones for the most part. There's a couple other ones that I can add. One or two um, scale paints, and uh, I forget what else. There might be a random armory or even a fucking privateer press I think a, the tin I use is like a privateer press um I fucking lost my train of thought man oh because I'm gonna do contrast paint sometime you know why this rambles brought to you by some shit I grew in my backyard holler at me um but I want to try the contrast paints because I want to go for how I leave the black in this to give it definition. I think I want to leave the like that tannish um, wraithbone color is almost like a brick, like an old school mortary kind of vibe to it. And then I can uh, I can contrast over top of it, or I could maybe just do regular gray bricks and leave like so it'll almost have like a tan whitish mortar in it and i just want to see what one would look like like that because i uh you know all these other ones have pretty much been the same as far as the color scheme of them and not that i'm dying to switch this shit up but i thought it might be nice maybe you see me paint a uh, little something else you know, I mean, you're going to see me paint something else. Well, let's be honest. You probably won't see it because who the fuck's watching this. But I'm going to post some videos of me paint some other shit. You know, so it's not just all tiny houses. But right now, tiny house part three. Holler at me. What else was I? else happened today hmm. I'm trying to think I'm trying to think but you know it gets this late and I don't really want to think that's part of the problem but yeah it's just how it is I'm pretty sure I painted the shutters at least on the other house the same color brown it's question Did anybody decide if it's called a lentil, by the way? Pretty sure it is. I think I decided it is. I'm sticking to it. Sticking to it. So, like... Oh, crazy. Um, my old truck that I had in college, my dad... Old ass dad, he's 79, bless his heart. Bernie! He, um, he drives my old ass truck still. It's like a Chevy Brown, Chevy S10 that has like crazy miles on it, dude. Over like almost 200. And, uh, it's like 20 some years old now. That shit died at the bank on him the other day when it was like 97 degrees or whatever. My poor dad. So. But of course, my poor dad 
raised by a depression era grandpa of mine um, is like getting the truck fixed instead of just junking it and buying a new car. And Pop's got money, you know, because he's cheap. He actually, actually, he ain't cheap. He just kind of spends what he needs to spend. None of us say, oh, man, it's cheap. But, uh, yeah, on certain things, he's not really cheap. Other things, he is far from cheap. So, yeah, I don't want to give that impression. You know, hell, the seven of you watching probably met him, so you know what I'm talking about. Right? And just for the record, he's still wild. Oh, you know what else? Um, I talked to my mother-in-law. She gonna watch my kids on Monday, so I can go fishing with my man. We're gonna go out on a boat and uh, hit it up. Hopefully, whack some set fat Sally rockfish. But you know what? Even if we don't whack the fat Sallies. Good time because we'll be out on the boat and it'll be quiet. And yeah, it'll be that's what I look for. You know, and not that I love me some fishing, love me some fishing. So it's supposed to be gorgeous too. That was that was the other thing. It's supposed to be a gorgeous day. water can't go wrong there I just painted this window frame but you know what I'm pretty sure on the other ones I painted them like they were metal and this one I just painted brown yeah you know it would probably be smart right because if I got the one that I'm trying to paint it like out of the goddamn cabinet and uh, that way you could see it and I could see it at the same time yeah um, and I could actually paint it right, right? But no, that would take too much forethought and make too much sense, so we must not do that. Hey, Lobot, shout out if you're still listening. Y'all ain't sang one song yet, I don't think. I might have to hit you off with one at the end. I'm purposely not singing songs. It's killing. song right now and then hit you with a little Roberta Flack killing me softly and y'all look good like damn he's good he's so good right cause I am cause I am it's burning it up right here man burning it all up oh you know what I didn't watch Ben Kenobi yet and what makes me sad is the boys season three premiere comes out tomorrow and I love me some boys so, I mean there's some jokes there right y'all I love me some boys I love me some boys hi hi kids yep this video just got not safe for kids um I love the boys though dude butcher it's good stuff um but I don't know if, like, I don't remember if they're in a part that I read the comics about anymore or not. So, that could be a little, um, off-putting. Because it's strange. When I, like, read the comics or know the plot things and then when I see the movies, I still enjoy them immensely. Or, like, I don't know. It's weird. I enjoy them immensely, even though I judge them how they, like, differentiate. I've said that word weird. Um, you know, how they're different from the plot. I just use that word instead of going, do for every, you know, so. Um, yeah. So, but we'll see. So now it's like I got two things to watch, dude. And, like, I don't really watch that much TV. Two things to watch. I don't know. I mean, what's going to happen is I'll probably just get sick one day and watch them all a month from now. 
So nobody say anything. Let me see each other. I'll be mad. Or I'll just say it on one of these videos. And I'll make a video. And because uh, I was gonna upload some older videos that I have in the can, but I was like, nah, I'll just do a real quick one here. But uh, yeah. Because uh, yeah. But the boys, definitely dope. Little Homelander, weird as hell. Fucking weirdo Aquaman, dude. It's just a good one. Although it is a little, like, rapey and, like, weird in parts. Which is, I don't know. I feel like all that new... All those new shows have that shit in there. Gotta have the weird gratuitous sex scenes for like, I mean, and that's cool. Cause like, I don't know. I was about to sound like a typical weirdo American and be like, yeah, it's okay to have like crazy violence. But the sex scenes are kind of weird. Um, it just shows like, uh, comfortableness or whatever would that be what people say yeah. but I ain't really I don't care I don't like find anything to it I just feel like it's not really needed half the time and they just like force that shit in there I mean I enjoy a good fucking scene as next as you know as much as the next person but like I don't need it every like fucking three minutes or whatever give me some more Superhero action or whatever. Whatever I'm watching the show about. Like if I want to watch a show about fucking. Watch some porns or something. Right? Um, but that's why I don't get like the whole Bridgerton thing. Or whatever. Or the weird shows like that. I'm going to put some porn on that. But then again. You're talking to a dude who knows all about General Hospital. Thanks to my wife. Send Corinthos to all your faces and the nurses' ball. Two wonderful things. You know. So. Judge not, lest ye be judged. That's what we're kicking it with. You know I'm a judgy motherfucker, right? You ought to know me. You ought to know I'm fucking. I try and be nice, right? That was another thing I was going to actually talk about. It's just like, I go about my day. I was talking to my man at work about this, or on the way to work. And I was like, when I get up, I like want to be nice. And I like have all these plans of like not being shitty to people. And then I feel like people just force me to be shitty but you know what they don't force me to be shitty they tested me yo they tested me seeing if I got the willpowers to stay strong and overcome their shittiness and you know what I've learned internet land most days Probably, actually, I don't want to say most days anymore. I'd say about, well, 60% is most, right? I'd say about 60% of the time, they can't bring me down at all, yo. They can't touch the champion. Who want to test the rocket launcher? But, those other 40%, oh man, it's like a fucking Gotti Ward battle, yo. Fucking Arturo Gotti Mickey Ward fucking two. Or maybe even all three of them bitches combined, you know? They just they just test you. And sometimes you found wanton. Check that out, y'all. Half hour. We just threw some browns on this bitch. All around it. Tiny house. Living it. 
need some shingles. I gotta dig out the scrag brown for that. I gotta paint some windows, hit it with a washer too. And he can join the other tiny houses in a tiny village. Which I also have a castle to go around and paint. I should set it all up one day just so y'all can see it and share. I will, eventually. But not yet, because I got more to paint, you know. Got more to paint. But that's it for now. Everybody out in internet land, love you. Be good to one another. Have a good night, y'all.